Amen. Hallelujah. Them are the old timey songs right there. Where could I go? Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Amazing Amen. grace. Yeah. There's power in the blood. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Praise Amen. God. Even bringing in the sheaves. Amen to God. If it's a hallelujah sung and led by the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Amen. All those old church hymns. Praise God. Farther along. Amen to God. Thank you Jesus. Come on. Go over and look what the Lord has done. Amen to God. All them old great songs. Praise God. They don't Amen. sing them much anymore. Because they just don't really, I guess they don't move people, amen, to God like they used yeah. to. How they've been <laughs> traded out for uh, rock and roll and Come on. heavy metal, praise yeah. God. But we need to, praise God, sing about the Word and about the blood, praise Come God, on. and sing about Jesus. Praise God. When you sing about Jesus, you should be happy all the time, amen. Amen. If you have your Bibles tonight, praise God, the King James Version Bible. The only version, praise God. Amen. The best version around, praise God. The true version. Amen. The version that makes the devil mad. Amen. Yeah. Like I said last time, the devil will be more than happy to show you his collection, his library in hell of all the NIVs and the Hallelujah, the NASVs and the NASB and the New King James and all those others. He'll give you the guide to tour of his library, praise God, that will deceive you and get you lost and <laughs> messed up. Come on. But if you stick with the Word of God from the King James Bible, you won't get led astray. Praise God. Amen. 2 Kings chapter 20. Hallelujah. i got a simple word tonight, but it's a word that I think is due for this time. I've preached this message before, but I felt the Lord want me to preach it again. So All right. if uh, He wants me to preach it again, there must be a reason for it. Praise God. Amen. And uh, I'll do what He tells me. 2 Kings chapter 20, beginning in verse 1. And we're going to read down to verse number 11 in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. And if you're able to stand, let's stand for the reading of God's Word. If you're able, if not, praise God, the Lord understands. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that you're going to hell because you don't stand up, praise God. We just give reverence to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 2 Kings chapter 20, beginning in verse 1. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah the son of Amos came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. I'm going to pause right there. I tell you, some of us need to get our house in order today. Praise Whoa. God. We're not promised to tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is coming back very soon. Either we're going to go by, praise God, when he calls us up, or we're going to go by the way of the grave. Time to get some homes set in order. Praise God. Whoa. Verse 2. Then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord. Let's talk about Hezekiah. I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I walked with thee, walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. And it came to pass, before Isaiah was gone out into the middle court, that the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Turn again and tell Hezekiah the captain of my people, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer. Somebody say amen that God hears prayer. Amen. Amen. God hears prayer. He says, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. Look at your neighbor and say, God promised it. God, God promised, promised it. And if he did it, he's going to do it. Amen. He said, I will heal thee, and on the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. And I will add unto thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee in this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria. Assyria is a type of the devil right there. And I will defend this city for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. And Isaiah said, Take a lump of figs. And they took it and laid it on the boil, and he recovered. And Hezekiah said unto Isaiah, What shall be the sign that the Lord will heal me, and that I shall go up into the house of the Lord the third day? And Isaiah said, This sign shalt thou have of the Lord, that the Lord will do the thing that he has spoken. Shall the shadow go forward ten degrees or go back ten degrees? And Hezekiah answered, It's a light thing for the shadow to go down ten degrees. Nay, but let the shadow return backwards ten degrees. Amen. And Isaiah the prophet cried unto the Lord, and he brought the shadow ten degrees backwards by which it had gone down in the dial of Ahaz. Hallelujah. This is a very powerful portion of Scripture right here because we see King Hezekiah who was sick unto death, fixing to die. Hallelujah. 
He didn't let the death get in his way. He continued to seek and to pray to the Lord. Come on. And the Lord said, I will heal thee and yeah. will add 15 years unto thy life. Praise God. Amen. See, Hezekiah walked in the way of the Lord. And when you walk in the way of the Lord, God will preserve you and take care of you. Amen. Come on. He promised that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God has always got a purpose and a plan for it. So I want to talk to you tonight about your condition is not your conclusion. Come on. Let me say that again. Your condition, what you're facing right now in your life, whether it be physical, whether it be spiritual, whether it be emotional, whether it be financial, whatever it is, your condition is not your conclusion. In other words, what I'm saying is, what you're going through now, hey, praise God, God has got something that He's going to do to get the glory out of this. Amen? Amen. Somebody ought to shout somebody. Somebody. Right. Your condition is not your conclusion. Father, we come before You in Jesus' name. We're humbled, Lord. We're thankful. We thank You, Lord, that we're blessed, that we're King's kids. We thank You, Lord, we're born again, washed in the blood, filled with the Holy Ghost, praise God, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. We thank You for Your Word tonight. Lord, hide me behind Your cross. Let me decrease as You increase, Lord. Meet every need, Lord God, to those here at VOTL, to those out there through Facebook, YouTube, the Internet, whatever avenue, Lord, that people's listening. Let every need be met. Let every soul that's lost, Lord, repent and come to You. And Lord, help us just to keep our eyes on You, dear God, in these trying times and to keep our faith in You. Keep running this race, Lord God, holding Your hand. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. And everybody say it with me. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. Okay, I want you to get up and go give somebody a hug now. Amen. Tell them you love them. Praise God. I know we're few in number, but praise God, let's do it. I'll tell you, it's good to do this, to get some love, amen, to God, out to one another. Praise God. Love Praise God. Love you, Mom. Hallelujah. Feels good to hug folks, don't it? Praise God. Love you, sister. Praise God. This way it gets a chance, if you, if you have anything against anybody, you can make it right. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We need more of that, I, I truly believe. If we could just start love, you know, I think if we just come in, praise God, and this ain't only here but everywhere, if we could just go in and start loving one another, praise God, as Jesus told us to, love them the way He loves us, I think we would see more great things happen than we do now. I really do. Everybody, you know, everybody's so pumped up about, you know, big name preachers and big musicians and, and everything like that, and you know, I, I guess, praise God, they've got their, you know, the Lord uses them in a certain way. Praise God, those who are really truly living for the Lord and not doing it just for money. Hello. But you know, if we just get back to the basics, when we first started walking with Jesus, you know, when we fell in love with Jesus, we loved everybody. We loved our enemies. We loved... Praise God, our in-laws, hallelujah, who we don't like to be around much. Come on. We love the outlaws of the family, praise God. I mean, we just loved everybody. We went to make, hallelujah, glory to God. We would go to God, hallelujah, help me, Lord. Praise God, that's a good amen, brother. We would go and make things right with our enemies. I mean, people had done us wrong, we would go and we would love them. No matter amen. if they still cussed us out or wouldn't accept our, you know, apologies or anything. We just went and we just loved one another. Amen to God. And we've seen God do so many great and mighty things from it. Come on. Because love covers the multitude of sins. Amen to God. Amen. Somebody can do you wrong and you can go love them. Come and on. I'll tell you, you'll be feeling good. And then it's going to affect them too. Yeah. The Bible, I, think, I think somewhere, I can't remember the Scripture, it says when you love them, it's like heaping coals of fire on their head. Amen. Praise God. And i tell you, we just I, I don't want to love them to heap coals of fire them. I want to love them because Jesus, Come amen to God, loves them. Praise God. Amen. I don't have no place to complain about my condition or the situation I'm going through right now because I'll tell you, when He was on that cross, praise God, 2,000 years ago, hallelujah, on Golgotha's Hill at Calvary, when He was sitting up there and they had Him beat like a dog, they had those thorns shoved in His head so far, He was bleeding, those thorns punctured the skull. They said in Come some on. documentaries... 
They beat him on the back 39 times. And that thing they beat him with, praise God, ripped the flesh off. They said, some say, you could see like the ribs and the lungs and all the insides hanging out. And Jesus was on that cross. I'm sure it was hot out there, probably like what we're feeling today. Amen to God. Oh. But see, praise God, he didn't let a condition, amen to God, start mess up the conclusion. Because Jesus said, I'm going to die for each and every one Hello. of them so they can have salvation. Amen. 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 So they can have, praise God, access to the throne room. Praise God. I may have to go through this right now, whatever it is, praise God. But the conclusion is they're going to have the ability to get saved and born again. Amen. So I'm telling you tonight, Jesus went through for us, praise God. And if He did it for us, we ought to do it for one another. Bear ye one another's burdens, the Bible says, praise God. We need to rejoice with those, praise God, who are rejoicing. Weep with those who are weeping, praise God. I'm telling you, we don't need to do opposite. We don't need to rejoice when they're weeping and weep when they're rejoicing. Come on, amen. Amen. Praise God. We are family in Jesus here. And if we can't do it down here, we ain't going to do it there. Amen. If you can't say amen to God, if you don't have love for your brother and sister in your heart, how can you say you love the Lord? Come on. Oh, I thought somebody would say amen. On amen. That. amen. Right. If you can't love your brother and sister down here, you may not can stand the way they look, but you've still got to love them. Come amen. On. amen. Glory amen. to God. And we've got to get back to the basics of that. We've got to start putting our faith back in Jesus. And quit putting faith in the doctors. Quit putting faith in the economy. Quit putting faith in the government. Come on. Because they're all going to let you down. A doctor will take you so far and then say, I can't help you no more. Amen. I can't treat your condition no more. Yeah. In other words, you're just going to have to take this medicine and die. Come on. We will keep you comfortable till you die. I don't believe we have to be, praise God, kept comfortable. I believe God, praise God, in His Word He says that by your stripes, amen to God, by His stripes we are healed. I believe if He said it, it's so, amen to God. Amen. I don't understand why we got to walk around keeping the thing all the time. We need to give it over to Jesus and go on. Hallelujah. Oh. He said, bring your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Leave them at the altar. Quit picking them back up and going back out there. Praise God. Amen. That's why we're not receiving nothing today. We don't trust God for it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We've all got problems. We've all got what I call conditions. The Webster's Dictionary defines a condition as this. A mode of being or a form of existence of a person or a thing at a state at a particular time. A situation, a problem. Yeah. We've all got it. Hallelujah. But God is going to use those things Hallelujah to God to make us stronger, make us trust Him more, make us more like Jesus. We pray, Lord, make me more of Your image. But hallelujah, when things come our way, then hallelujah, we fuss and complain. Oh. Well, the Lord's like You asked me to do it, but now I'm doing it, and now You're fussing about it. Yeah. What's the problem here? Hallelujah. Let me say that again. He said, you asked me to make you more like me, put me on the potter's wheel, mold me into your image, remove every crack and every tear, everything that's not every imperfection, Lord, because all you make is perfect things, amen to God. All you create is things of beauty, amen to God. Out of these ashes, beauty will rise, amen to God. And hallelujah, we pray that. Hallelujah. We say, Lord, let us be that way. But then when things start coming, the first minute we leave the mountaintop to go in the back, we start complaining. We yeah, start murmuring man. like the children of Israel. And I'll tell you what, if they would have quit, they wouldn't water in that wilderness over 40 years. I'm telling you right now, God does not want you to water in the wilderness. He wants you to go to the promised land. Amen. Oh, I think somebody needs to say amen on that. Amen. 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 Your destiny is the promised land. Your destiny is to go over, not under. Amen to God. Your destiny is to be in the blessing that God has given to you through His finished work at the cross. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Somebody said, well, when you say blessing, that means money. No, it doesn't mean money, praise God. 